Hello and welcome to another video. Today I have this Ansel AD310 OBD2 device. So this is a device that you plug into your OBD uh, port in your car and read any check engine light or any uh, maintenance codes uh, that may pop up. So uh, you can also use this to view live data as far as uh, you know speed and uh, RPMs, things like that. Um, let's open it up and uh, see how it works. Inside there is a manual right here. So this is the device. It won't work until you plug it into the OBD2 port. Uh, so for my car, it's under the steering wheel right here. Um, be below that key and set thing. Um, depending on your car, it's going to be a similar location, but it could be somewhere over here or closer to the center. It fits in your hand pretty easily. It's a very lightweight, small device. You have a two and a half feet cable here, uh, so you can still sit in the seat and then uh, uh, and have it plugged in. Before you turn on the car, you want to plug in the device. So as I said, for my car, it's down here. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. Okay. Once you plug it in, it's going to come on immediately. So I'm going to jump back into the car. As you can see, the cable is long enough for me to sit in the car and still have it plugged in. So it says turn the ignition on. You don't have to turn the car on. You just have to turn the battery on. So this is a 2007 Prius. And unfortunately, I started having a check engine light. I have a feeling that it's because of... So I'm just going to hit the power button. Unfortunately, I think the check engine light's coming on because last year my car was uh, had a catalytic converter theft and I got a new catalytic converter welded on, but I don't think the guy did a good enough job. So once I've turned it on, you press any button to continue. All right, so it's reading code, so it says one code found. Okay, read codes, pending codes. So P0138, O2 sensor circuit, high voltage bank one, sensor two. So like I said, it seems like it's the O2 sensor circuit. So there's something wrong with the, um, with the sensor. Uh, maybe the sensor's gone bad or um, the sensor's detecting too much. Let's see if there are any stored codes. And this is... Uh, it's P2195 um, O2 sensor signal. So they are both O2 sensor codes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the car on. And now this will allow us to get any live data. So let's go ahead and enter this for live data. This is a hybrid, so you haven't heard any engine come on even though the car is on. And this will give you other data such as fuel, temperature, RPM, etc. Um, you can click view freeze frame. So this is going to figure out when that um, code happened or what was going on when that code, a uh, check engine code happened. Or it's also called um, maintenance indicator light or service um, engine light so this is all the information from when um, when the code happened so this was this these were the numbers when the code happened and then you can look up the vehicle info so then um, this will give you the calibration ID Sometimes it'll give you the VIN number, things like that. So not always do you get all the information. Depending on the car, you may have more or less information. When you're in diagnostics, you can click exit and go out of diagnostics, and then you can look up the codes. So you can change the contrast of the device, the unit of measure, the language, if you need to. It covers a lot of different other languages as well. If you go to DTC lookup, you just, uh, let's say ours was uh, P018, right? So now that I'm at 0P138, I can click enter and it will tell me what exactly that code is. Uh, but we, it already told us what that meant to begin with. But you can do a Google search to figure out exactly what that means. For this uh, unboxing and review, if you have any questions, leave them below. I'm not a mechanic, but I uh, got this code. So I just wanted to figure out what exactly the issue was. Because if it was as simple as changing the oxygen sensor, that's something I can do myself. 
Um, but if it's something more complicated, I obviously you can always go to the mechanic. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.